the opportunity to showcase my talents, uh, the opportunity to help build something special, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, just a, a young and fresh start. Uh, you know, I think uh, it'll be good for everyone. What's up, Browns fans? Time for another edition of Working From Home with, again, one of the newest members of the Cleveland Browns linebacker, B.J. Goodson. B.J., first let me tell you, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to the Cleveland Browns. Oh, man, I'm very, very excited about, you know, being with the Cleveland Browns, man. Uh, excited about the opportunity. Uh, can't wait to get with everybody and, and, and get started. So you come to the Browns this offseason and look in free agency, you have a choice. That's part of the deal. What right. was it about the Cleveland Browns that made them your choice? Uh, the opportunity, uh, the opportunity, man, uh, the opportunity to showcase my talents, uh, the opportunity to help build something special, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, just a, a young and fresh start. Uh, you know, I think uh, it'll be good for everyone. You come to Cleveland after spending a year with a team in the Green Bay Packers that had a very, very good season. And you know what it's like to be on a winner. Also some Cleveland ties there. Your defensive coordinator was former Browns mm -hmm. head coach Mike Pettin. What does it take to be that kind of a winning team? And how can you help bring that mentality here to the Browns? Uh, it takes dedication and consistency, man. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's uh, you know, my biggest forte as far as uh, bringing uh, <clears throat> is consistency. Uh, you know, uh, that better in leadership, um, you know, and things of that. Yeah, and it's it's a young room that you're coming into. You really are. You talk about veteran leadership. You're going to be that veteran leader alongside young guys like Mac Wilson and Sione Taki Taki. Did you think mm -hmm. you were going to be in that position, you know, this early in your career? Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, I've been in that position uh, for a while now, um, since uh, my days in New York. Um uh, alongside Ogletree. Uh, yep. He was, you know, one of the older guys. Uh, but other than that, uh, I've been uh, one of the older guys in the room uh, for a while now. And, um, you know, uh, it, it's just uh, – it just shows uh, the maturity uh, that you have to have, uh, you know, to be able to uh, keep up a room, uh, especially the linebacker room, uh, of running a defense and uh, things of that nature, man. So uh, I'm excited to be able to, uh, you know, be there for all of those guys, uh, all of those young guys. So. I'm have you got have you got a chance to connect with any of those guys like Mac Wilson or Sione Taki Taki, the young guys that are going to be playing alongside you? Yeah, uh, we but we've only had a chance to just uh, speak and introduce. Uh, I haven't had a chance to like actually like learn those guys and sure. learn their personalities. And uh, but I'm excited about learning learning all of them and uh, you know getting to work with them. Well, I'm sure you're going to remind uh, uh, Mac about just the recent success that Clemson has had. You know, no big deal, even though he's an Alabama guy. They've had their success as well. Let's be let's be fair about that. But come from Clemson, you're sitting in a pretty good spot right now, I would say. For sure, for sure, for sure. Go Tigers. <laughs> BJ, all right. What was it when the coaches talked? Because you've played multiple linebacker positions in your mm -hmm. career. Where are you the most comfortable and kind of have they laid out to you what their vision is yet for where you're going to fit in this defense? Uh, you know, we just talked about uh, it won't just be about me. Uh, it'll be about the uh, the other guys as well. Um, and uh, for me per se, uh, I, I I love and enjoy playing the wheel and uh, and running the system. Um, uh, I mean the mic. I'm I'm not sure if I said well, uh, but I can said, play well, that's the wheel. Right, yeah, well. yeah sure. but I can play the uh, wheel as well. Um, and uh, in base defense, I can play a little bit of the sound. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm most comfortable uh, playing the mic uh, and running the show. Um, but uh, wherever they see fit uh, will be fine. When you've talked with Joe Woods and now you guys are starting to get into it, you finally were able to get your iPads and kind of get at least a somewhat right. start your understanding of this defense. What mm -hmm. what does this defense ask of the linebacker position? Man, to, uh, fly around, be fast and uh, just be fast and physical and, uh, you know, have that presence uh, in the defense. Uh, and, you know, I just – I enjoy, you know, what, what we've talked about uh, as far as, uh, you know, what he's starting here in, uh, in Cleveland. And um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Uh, I can't express uh, with the words how excited I am about, you know, being able to play for those guys, man, and, uh, and just fly around and hit people. Absolutely. And you think about kind of your tenure, you've played for a few guys who are in their first year as head coaches. You're doing mm -hmm. that again here with Kevin mm -hmm. Stefanski. What mm -hmm. are your impressions of the of the Browns new head coach? 
Oh man, uh, great stand-up guy. Um, you know, uh, he called, uh, and you know, we talked about football for a split second, but then uh, we got into talking about what's going on in the real world, and um, uh, that you know, and and his concern about what's going on in the real world and the precautions that he's uh, you know taking and that the team is taking, uh, you know, uh, speaks volumes. And um, you know, he's a very stand-up guy, and uh, you know, I appreciate you know the things that he's doing. Absolutely. And, you know, you talk about the real world. Obviously, this had to be a very unique free agency period for you because of mm -hmm. it. No visits. Everything had to be done that way. Working right. out are, is going to be a challenge. How have you kind of dealt with this situation and, and you know, kept yourself uh, as sharp as you can be to get ready? I've been doing one on one uh, training with my trainer, uh, keeping distance, uh, just taking all of the precautions that I could take. Um, right but still working uh, every single day. Um, and, uh, you know, that's all that we can really do um, is do the best that we can at, you know, maintaining our everyday lives, um, you know, and, and, and just keep pushing forward. Absolutely. And you have the trainer, which is, I think that's a huge advantage. Some people don't have anything. They're doing push-ups and running around outside. It's nice right. that you have that. And how good was it for you to finally be able to get that iPad as well and be able to kind of dive into and keep your football mind sharp? Because coming right. in as a linebacker, you mm -hmm. want to be the mic. You know as well as I do when you're the mic, you need to know what everybody's doing because you're the one who sets the defense, makes the adjustments, makes the checks, and gets everybody right. Right. Oh, uh, man, this uh... – I can't express, you know, how important that is, uh, you know, to be able to get that information in and consume it uh, uh, because, you know, like you just said, I got to be able to spit it back out. Uh, and so, uh, you know, having that information and, and, you know, having that available for, for me and uh, for the rest of the guys is very important. Do you like playing in a system that has more, I wouldn't say structure is the right word, but where you know your responsibilities are clearly defined because some defenses, and I'm sure you've played in a, in a few of these, where it's more you're supposed to read what's going on in front of you and react to that, which sometimes can be confusing. How do you, what's your style? Do you like to just be totally free and just go on your instincts and, and reading, or do you like to have a little bit more of a structure in terms of your fits and, and responsibilities? Uh, like you said, I've kind of been a part of both. Um, and so uh, it doesn't, play uh as big of a, a key or role uh as far as me and my playing style um uh as far as like having that structure of knowing your responsibilities and things of that nature um it allows you to play a little bit faster uh but um it, it doesn't it doesn't make that big of a deal for for me to be honest for browns fans who haven't gotten a chance to see you play how would you describe your playing style as a linebacker oh man um just uh, playing speed is uh, is, is fast. Um, you know, uh, reaction and uh, instincts uh, is, is is really well. Um, you know, uh, great in uh, in drops and, and zone defense and can play man. Uh, just uh, just uh, you know, and, and I'm I'm striving to get better, man, at every single thing, uh, every single day. Um, so uh, I'm excited, man, uh, excited to showcase for the Browns fans and excited to be a part of the culture uh, and, and, and the upcoming. Yeah, we're excited to have you. You mentioned drops in coverage, two interceptions on your career. That's always good when you know a mm -hmm. linebacker can get his hands on the football. What's something you'd want Browns fans to know about B.J. Goodson, the man, as opposed to B.J. Goodson, the player? Oh, man. Um, oh, man. Oh. Uh, uh. You know, um, I'm I'm all about embracing change and embracing uh, embracing just just new things, man. And so, uh, for me, uh, that would be something that um that I would say uh, I'm 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 able to adapt and and, and embrace, man. And so, uh, you know, I'm excited about embracing uh, you know the Browns culture and, and the fans, man. Uh, I'm I'm ready to you know just get there and work and and. And learn and meet everybody, man. And so uh, it's just so exciting, man, the, uh, the opportunity that we all have. Absolutely. And I can promise you this. The Browns fans will embrace you. They're as passionate 
about uh, about Browns football as I would say Clemson fans and SC fans, ACC fans are about their football teams and their football programs. It has that collegiate feel here, and I'm sure you experienced that in Green Bay as well with the Packers, but you're going to get that a lot of passion. Hopefully we can get in front of those fans sooner rather than later. BJ, again, mm-hmm. thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Welcome to the Browns. Now today, we're talking to you in the morning. I don't know if you've gotten to see me yet, but at noon, the uniforms are going to be revealed. Have you gotten mm. a chance to see the new your new Browns threads? Uh, no, I haven't, but I'm very excited to see them. Uh, good. Well, you come from a, what I would call a traditional program there with the Green Bay Packers. We're going to have a nice uh, traditional look for you here when you don the new unis of the Cleveland Browns. BJ Goodson, pleasure talking to you. Can't wait to meet you in person when the, all hopefully all of this craziness in the world, the scary times, they get mm-hmm. past us and, and we can get you here and get the team together and get really the community back together up here in Cleveland. All righty. Thank you guys for having me.